one more for the road. Well, the winter holidays are officially over, but that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy one last winterish cocktail before we say goodbye to January. Today's recipe comes to us from Jay and Leah over at Gastronom, which is an excellent site for food, cocktails, spirits, and travel, and is responsible for today's winter spirited recipe, the Rambler's Ruby. This cocktail is unique for two reasons. Not only for its heavy use of holiday related ingredients, but it's also a gin and mezcal recipe. No rum. <gasps> However, as we found in 2022, gin and mezcal can pair super well with the usual tiki fare to make for some unforgettable flavors. The Rambler's Ruby consists of lime, grapefruit juice, cinnamon syrup, bitters, orja, allspice jam, and of course, gin and mezcal. Now we've seen that allspice, orja, bitters combo recently in the Nutty Like a Fruitcake, which was wonderful, and also that lime, cinnamon syrup, mezcal combo in last year's Walking Stick, which was amazing. Not to mention the lime, grapefruit, cinnamon syrup, bitters combo in the classic Jet Pilot, which is outstanding. So this bad boy promises to be a winner. And it is. All right, let's start with the half ounce of lime juice, half ounce of grapefruit juice, half ounce of cinnamon syrup, half ounce of orja syrup, as usual we're using Liquid Alchemist, half ounce of allspice jam, we're gonna be using St. Elizabeth. This of course gives us those spice holiday flavors, along with the cinnamon syrup. A half ounce of mezcal, we're using El Silencio. Two ounces of gin. We're actually gonna use a special tropical gin provided to us by the very generous Matt and Sparkle over at Iceman Can't Cook to kick up the tiki vibes of this cocktail a little bit. Thanks, you two. And finally, two dashes of Angostura bitters. All right, let's pour this into our shaker. Add some ice cubes as we shake to chill, incorporate, and agitate. Gonna shake for about 10 to 15 seconds. Also just sounds cool. Jay and Leah call for a Collins glass on this one. Serve it over crushed ice. All right, let's just strain it in. We're gonna garnish this with some dried fruit on the side, as well as two Luxardo cherries on the top. Stick a straw in, and there it is, the Rambler's Ruby. Let's give it a shot. Dang it, that is really good. It definitely fits in with the usual fare of holiday drinks with that orja, the cinnamon syrup, the allspice, and the grapefruit juice, all rounding it out super well for a full bodied and very festive drink. Highly recommend giving this one a shot at home. Well, that's the show, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, please give us a like and let us know what you think of this drink down in the comments below. Also be sure to check out Gastronom over at gastronomblog.com for more interesting recipes. Till next time, Cheers. I can balance myself. <laughs> Damn it, I thought I could do it.